You'd think today's job report would be a good thing for President Biden, but is it too good? Here with more is Yahoo Finance's own Rick Newman. Rick, I am fascinated to hear the details on this one. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, look, I mean, more jobs are really not doing President Biden any good at this point. I mean, he, we're so far into the point of diminishing returns on his political payback for the great job growth we've had under his administration. Uh, you know, 15 million jobs created so far un under Biden, the most of any president ever. When he brags about it, it's true. Um, but that that is, uh, I mean, it's now become very clear. This is not what voters care about. Voters care about prices and inflation. And uh, uh, a strong job market has now become kind of a contrary indicator for inflation, as it has for all the things we're talking about with regard to markets. I mean, markets, for the most part, care about uh, the strength of the economy because of whether uh, and when the Federal Reserve is going to cut rates. Biden cares about the strength of the economy for another reason, because the, I think the main thing he needs in a bullish case for reelection is he needs consumers and voters to see prices either moderating or outright declining uh, in the home stretch of this election. And I think we're getting to the point, we're just getting one, one hot number after another on jobs, on incomes. I think we're at the point where Biden is just not going to get the break on inflation that he wants. Uh, we we all know the economic argument here. The inflation rate, the annual uh, rate of change has dropped from a high of 9% to 3.4%. But as consumers remind me, every single time I write about this, um, yeah, well, maybe the rate is coming down, but the pr prices went up and they're staying up. And everybody has their own personal uh, inflation gauge, whether it's uh, the price of roast beef or hamburger or milk or your rent. Uh, gasoline is obviously imp an important one. And I, I just think Biden is not going to get the break he's hoping for, which is that voters see tangible signs that prices are coming down. So he's just going to have to deal with that. Doesn't mean he's going to lose, but I think it does mean we're just not going to see any meaningful increase in Biden's approval rating, which is really low, around 40 percent. Um, and he's just going to have to deal with that. Yeah, lots of moving parts here. We will keep track of it all. Thank you, Rick Newman.